46 million dollars worth of water and sewer bonds are a top city priority. If passed, about a third will go for improving the existing system for things like water mains and pumping stations. Virginia Beach Utilities deliver an average of 25 million gallons of water a day to a quarter of a million residents spread over 200 square miles. The numbers alone indicate the strain on the current system. There's been a major media push to get the referendum through because city officials say citizens may be unable to appreciate the whole picture. They can see that there needs to be an improvement of water and sewer in front of their homes, but they don't realize that in order after the homes have been improved with the lines, that there is a need for storage tanks, there's a need for improved transmission lines, there's a need for pumping stations, and if we don't have those facilities, it, there really would be no need to have the lines in front of the house in the first place. The water and sewer projects will not only improve the system, but also are intended to put Virginia Beach on the road to water independence. The projects will be financed by double barrel bonds paid for by the consumers. Opponents who worry about the city's expanding debt say if lesser priorities were reordered, there'd be enough money without the bonds. But our indebtedness, bonded, funded, whatever you call it, is rapidly increasing despite the cries of the former mayor, Mr. Standing, that they can't borrow much money because the state has put restrictions on them. Well, thank God for the restrictions because if it was unrestricted, we'd probably be a second New York. City officials expect water rates to go up by five cents per thousand gallons and sewer maintenance fees to increase 34 cents a month, a small price, they say, for better and safer water and sewage systems.